What's up, y'all? Just got some more uh, decoys in for the new duck season coming up. 2022, 2023, 22, 23 duck season. So, um, really geeked up on the final approach decoys, uh, the live series. It's per pretty sweet. Um, and I think they actually have the best decoy carve and the best decoy paint scheme on the market right now. And like I said in previous videos, I have high dollar decoys and I have low end decoys. Um, <clears throat> but these right here, um, these live series that FA just came out with, they're, they're the cat's meow. So check these out, guys. We just got the, uh, the FA live Gawal floaters. Um, carved by the same guy, six-time world champ carver, Tom Christie. Um, they got the new EVA plastic, so the uh, paint doesn't come off real easy. Stands up to rough and rugged abuse. All one size. Um, it's got multiple positions to uh, hook up the uh, Texas rig, if that's what you use. I believe it might. I don't know. These are only showing two, so we're going to crack the box. We already opened the box. We're not going to bore you with opening a box and all that bull crap so everybody knows how to open up a box so check this out and show you this what the box looks like when they come in this is this side of the box tells you a little bit about it we ordered these from rogers sporting goods super fast shipping um very easy website to navigate through so check this out guys this is what it looks like when you open up the box All right, Hunter, tell us a little about, about these things. All right, so, guy wall. I like, this, I like this one right here. This is my favorite position. Like, big stud guy wall just out there. Pimping on the water, son. Yep. He's got his wing out. So, I, I ain't never seen a decoy with his wing out like that. Yeah, I haven't either. His wing's out. His tail's all flared out. Hold it right there. Let's show him the back of it. I mean, just look at the, the detail. And the colors are pretty spot on too. The colors are? Mm -hmm. like yeah. Especially this right here. Yep. Looks really good. Hold it on the side. Nice keel. Oh, it does have the three yep. positions, don't it? Yep. Nice keel system, guys. Got the middle, the back. Roll it over. Just got the middle, the back, and the front. Kill position, the rig it. This one, you throw it out, he's gonna be like this, and you gotta go out there and flip him back over. You throw him out, he's gonna yeah. right there, perfect every time. So, what position is that? The rester. I guess he's like resting. I guess he's just out there, just flexing on him with his uh speculum. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else we got? Yeah, everything comes in nice packages here. Yep, individually individually wrapped. Feeder. Drink for yeah, feeder. Skimmer. Show on the back. Beautiful depth in the feathers on the carve on these things. That's what's super nice. Check this out, y'all. So look at the the beak on this thing. You can see to where like the teeth are or his little rippers on his beak. That's how much attention to detail is on this. On these, the eyes are, are super nice. Got the little chocolate top heads. I mean, they're like, they're not big. They're not small either. They're like pretty true to size in my opinion. Yep, grab them bags so they don't fly everywhere. So that's two you get you get six in the pack and it's all drakes you get two positions two positions so same same position so what you get three feeders three feeders and then three and three pimping yep Yeah. 
I really like uh, these FA decoys, man. Yeah, me too. That's all of them, huh? Mm -hmm. That's your six pack of FA decoys. Hunter, pick them up and, and flex the back. Show them how the flexible the plastic is on those things. I mean, the paint on them is really nice. The keel systems are super nice. It ain't going to crack on cold days like hard plastic. No, and it's going to take a beating, I think. They're not loud. No, they're not loud. They're going to go in the water super quiet bottom side of the keel and the decoy is pretty light too so yeah. i mean you could sling this thing if you needed to from the bank or from your kayak you know just a super super sexy badass looking decoy y'all have any gaddies in your area gray ducks gad walls uh where you hunt at i would definitely check out these uh these decoys by final approach I mean, what do you think, Hunter? Oh, yeah. I feel like these are going to be the strat in the marsh on a guy what we've seen. Yeah. Especially on the pond, too. Yep. I mean, it just that right there is what I really like. That open beat, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, you put those out there in your, in your spread, and it's really going to look like the ducks are out there just talking and having a good time, relaxed. No <clears> heads either. Huh? No high heads. No alert high heads. Nope. Everything's in chill, eating, eating taking it easy, sleeping, Chilling. resting, flexing. Really, really good looking decoys, y'all. So, you got any questions on them? Drop us a comment. Um, you know a little bit more about them, let us know. Uh, let us know if you used them or haven't used them, but I would definitely check them out if you hunt gabbles. Like I said, it's a nice Drake six pack. Um, with the beaks open, super nice. We'll uh, we'll do a review at the end of the year to show you how the uh, the paint and stuff holds up. We'll show you them out there on the water as we're hunting over them. Um, in the spread, we'll show you what like in the spread as well. So, and we'll be using Texas rigs on these. Looking pretty pretty excited to look in, to use all these FA decoys that we got for this year coming up. We'll be taking will we take these to Kansas with us? Probably won't hurt. Yeah. So these will be going to Kansas too. So if y'all like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give us a thumbs down. Drop a comment, subscribe. We greatly appreciate it. See y'all next time.